it's it's an interesting dynamic to family life isn't there you know no matter um how big or small your house is with um you know more than sort of two of you um <clears throat> and being even with two of you being in constant contact with each other all the time it's it's a lifestyle that we've um modern people we don't normally have do we where we're with our partners and our families for such extended periods of time um either during the day or evening so it's um yeah it's taking some working out isn't it it's a little bit it's a bit, um we 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 haven't had any significant problems um accommodating the new the new normal i don't think um which is good yeah yeah and so um in terms of a, a faith aspect dave you know um you're um say you work um for the lac and everything but you're a committee christian and um and I, I, we see um everybody who um is connected with the lantern as part of the lantern family no matter where they worship and and you worship um at a church that's near your home so um how how is your faith impacted um your furloughing how has it impacted the situation that we're all finding ourselves in um I, I was trying to think about this i mean in many ways my faith hasn't it hasn't been affected by it um so i'm still able to relate to god and to jesus um as i did you know when i was working um who I am hasn't changed and certainly who God is and who Jesus is and what was achieved for me hasn't changed um, through anything. Um, the only thing that really has changed is um, my circumstances um, and I'm able to um, rely on um, God who is a rock um, at this time as I am able to do that in any other time. So. Um, I, th I think my faith hasn't changed, um, hasn't been affected um, by, by the situation. Um, I think what has been affected is how I worship, how I relate to other people. Um, and this is proving to be a bit more of a challenge. Um, so the, the message that we're sending out from the Lantern Art Centre is that well, the light is still shining. Um, and I would hope that that's true for me. I would hope that my light is still shining. And Jesus says in Matthew's Gospel that um, in the same way, let your light shine before men, that they may see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. Mm -hmm. And I hope that um, I'm, I'm still able to do that. Um, I'm still able to reflect my light out to a community um, surrounding the art centre, surrounding the area where I live, surrounding my church, um, that people will be able to look at me and see my good deeds and um, praise God because of them. Um, the challenge for me is to make sure that I'm doing the good deeds that that verse in Matthew's Gospel talks about. Um, and the opportunities to do those things uh, seem few and far between. Um, so I'm trying, I think part of um, being in a community is connecting with people. So just later I'm doing lots of Zoom quizzes. Um, so we have a book club through the Lantern Arts Centre, which we're trying to keep up um, on Zoom. And I was reflecting on it. and. I don't think the main point of a Zoom quiz is a quiz, and I don't think at this point of time the main point of a book club on Zoom is to discuss the book. It's the connections um, that we're maintaining, um, the opportunity to be in community, albeit in a different way. And I think that's um, the, main, the main challenge, the main opportunity of this point. Um, different ways to stay in community and just be be there for other people, albeit in different ways. Um, and I, I think that um, I think that's the main way that we can um, 
do these good deeds that we talked about, that Jesus talks about. Um, so I'm, I've talked about challenges that other people have set me. Um, I think a challenge that I've set myself is um, to be more salt and light right now. Um, but quite how I do that is something I'm still working through, I think. Mm -hmm. I think that would be fair to say. Yeah. And I think, yeah, that is it, isn't it? I mean, this is an exploration um, for us all, isn't it? It's a time of, um, it's it's almost like a Lenten and an Advent all rolled into one, isn't it? Where we're, we're spending these days reflecting on, on how we do what we would normally do how do we do that in a different way what do we um what do we lay down what do we pick up um like you say so it's you know and and you're quite right in saying that you know the the quiz the book club all of those um they're a facility for us just to be in, they are for us to be in community and how to be a community that's dispersed how to be a community that is not physically able to meet at the moment and um, but still holding those bonds of trust and love and understanding um, that are hallmarks of a, of a good loving community aren't they um, you know where we look upon each other in love um, so yeah so that's um, that's that's really good I'm, I'm 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 looking forward to the quiz on Thursday night um, <laughs> um, I don't know whether um, go on I'd, I'm looking forward to more people signing up for it. Well, um, yeah, so I know, I know. <laughs> it's um, hopefully this will boost it a little bit. We keep sharing all yeah. these things and and saying, come and come and join us, and uh, you can have your snacks and and your your drinks and everything still around you. Just uh, no having no one behind the camera, um, you know, with Google open. Um, otherwise, yeah. <laughs> you see, I police that. Can you? Normally, when we're in a room together, everyone's like put their mobile phones away. But you know, it's um, if people are using the phones, you can see what's going on. But yeah, that's if you've right. got people um, in another part of the room that can't be seen, yeah, yeah. No, there's yeah. no way to police. <laughs> It's like we're trusting, we're trusting everybody to be, you know, really honest with this. And uh, mm. but no, that's really good. And I just wanted to thank you, um, Dave, for um, for everything that you're doing at the moment, and and particularly for your um, your being. I know finding things to do, um, we feel we've always got to be doing and stuff like that. But to to know that you're reflecting on um, on how you can be salt and light, to know that you're praying, and to know that in your heart you have. Um, your community around you at home, your church community and the London community at, at the very centre of your heart is, is really, um, it's just lovely. It, it really, it, it, it's good to know. It's good to know that we are um, together and um, however far apart we may be. Do you know, I think there might be a song lyric. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> um, um, so, uh, well, if, if it's not, maybe you could challenge me to write a song. Well, uh, write a song on it, write a song on it. See, this is the problem. Normally in the office, we're batting ideas around and, uh, and more often than not, they'll either be film quotes or song quotes from one of us. And uh, so, yeah, it's, um, it's quite good. But um, I just wanted to take this opportunity as well, um, Dave, to pray for you and to, and to pray for all those people who are um, furloughed at the moment. And um, as we did yesterday with our key workers in education. So um, join, us, join us in prayer. Almighty God, um, we thank you for the perseverance, for the um, trust that people like Dave and um, all those who have been furloughed from their work are placing in a system. They are placing it in you. They are remaining hopeful. And we pray, Lord, that um, you will guide their actions you will guide the actions of their employers as well to make sure that they are receiving the care that they need at this time to know that um, with regular updates that things are going well and this will soon pass as well and that we will get back to um, earning our livings and feeling that we are being useful to the work um, that you have commissioned us to do so, Lord, we hold all those who have been furloughed in the arms of your mercy and pray for them to feel um, loved and accepted. And we offer these prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.
and I sit in the room with the cuckoo clock. <laughs> yeah, I did wonder what it was. I thought I was the one getting disturbed, but no, no, it was the, <laughs> it was the Holy Spirit. No, um, my mum, my mum bought back a Bavarian um, cuckoo clock a couple of years ago, and um, yeah, so luckily it was only the, the half. No, oh no, it was one o'clock. We were lucky. If it had been twelve, we would have ended up with um, a cuckoo going absolutely bananas. <laughs> so uh, luckily, we only had the one tea. So. Um, Thanks ever so much for this, Dave, and uh, take care and God bless. And uh, well, I'll, I will catch up with you on um, on Thursday at the quiz, and hopefully a few others of us will as well. Uh, so God bless. Mm -hmm.